Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, we've marked all that out. I put some tags on it this morning because the cars come up and they try and park in there. So they can park on the roadway now. So that's where the fence is going to go. Gate's going to go in the middle. That's all worked out, done. We've got the boys with us. Hey boys! We've got all the equipment. We've got everything over this side. Here, here, hey, hey, here, here. They think we're doing that one. They don't know. I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> right. So, as you know, what we're going to be doing is putting a support, a support post down into here, cement down onto the bottom of the block that will put the pressure onto this one here. Then, a roll of the hog wire is going down the bottom. I'll give you a quick look now because we've got so much to fucking do. What's the snakes? Right, so that hog wire's going all on the bottom there where it's all missing. And then I can retention all that up, put a couple more bamboo poles in to tie it onto at the bottom. And we'll go okay. We did have a problem with people coming in through here, believe it or not. They sneaky little bastards coming in through here. And it was coming in through here as well. So I had to put double wire on there. But um, this will stop them. This will stop them. Right, we'll go and talk to the boys and give them a, a debrief on what we're going to do. Okay, well that was in luck, I tell you. So we're going to go from here. I said hog wire him on. And uh, boys cutting down bamboo, replace one here. And believe it or not, we got right to the end and we still had a little bit left over. How fucking cool. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So when you go to the shop, they don't know how, how long it is. They just don't know how long it is. But um, look, we've still got another good meter in there. So it's turning out okay. Turn out very good. So see what it's like when I finish putting this up. Right, the funny thing is the boys, when people, new people work with me, they see the tools that we have that they haven't seen before. Like even simple things like crimpers and um, fencing pliers and the fence strainer. They're sort of like, what the hell is all this shit? These are the cross members now that we're putting in here. So we'll cut these ones. They'll butt onto these here. We'll bury them in the ground. And just leave them about an inch out. Of the ground and that will be their support all right so we've got the stay in originally we we're tied off to that tree up there and this was fence going all the way through we were tied off to that and this stayed rock tight however when we opened this up for the animals to come through and we fenced it through here i didn't put the stay in here which was just what it was at the time i can sweat like a pig guys i tell you and i'm just standing here filming right so the barbed wire is hanging down really low as you can see we've got the walker the fence strainer so let's tighten it up Right, so as you can see, you see how much this has dropped down from here, look. How all this has just dropped down. So as you can see this, look. Ah. So this will all get tied onto here, and then we'll do the next one. See all these ones here? But until there, we're going to go and have some breakfast and a coffee. Boys can have a coffee and some cake, and I'll go in and have brekkie. Then we'll come back and hit this bitch. Right, so tightened all these bastards up. Have a look at that. A little bit of slack in this one yet, but that'll be okay. But all these are nice and tight, so the three of them were pulled right up. So it's a few years ago when uh, Colt and I made all this. So when Papa had the old fence here, what I did was I just made it the same level all the way through, put the barbed wire through, the plain wire, put the hog wire on, and then, what's that? And then the old fence, I just picked it up and just put it against there and hog wired it clip onto the bottom. So that's why it rusted out eventually because it was the old one. But um, this will do fine because we've got to keep the goats in. So I've got the wires all tied up now. So all I've got to do now is just pull off the, um, the hog wire and just click it all along the bottom there. Drop it down, tie it off onto the bottom of the poles and we've done. So the goats can't get out and people can't get in. Got to be happy with that. So this is my second shirt. The first one I changed at, um, was it 10 past 8? And now it's an hour later, this one's soaked, soaked to the skin. And I'm just standing there watching them. You know, I'm learning. I'm learning how to do it the right way. The right way. So I'm very happy with this fence, guys. Very happy. So we just got to tie it all up now. Tie them back up. And we'll be okay. So we're just stopping for a water. And go again. Right, guys. This part A is finished. Finished. Done. And it's just coming on to 10 o'clock. 
So that's not bad, that took three hours to do with um, a break for breakfast at 8 o'clock. But um, it's turned out exactly how I wanted it. And believe it, the, 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 um, the hog, hog wire was just the right amount. They started here. So it's all pulled up, retightened, all tightened down the bottom. When it rains, this is all full of water through here. It's half a metre of water. 300 mil to 500 mil of water. So um, the main thing is to keep the gates out, keep the gates from getting out and stop those on the outside getting in. But as you can see, it's turned out good. Those hog ring clips are so, so fast to use. The old days you used to have to put a little bit of tie wire on it, twist it. With these things, they last for bloody ages. And this is the last little tiny bit we had left. That's it. Well, I'm happy, guys. So this is now fully secure until someone cuts a hole in it again, which is not uncommon. But now that the durians are all going to be sold, then uh, we've got less worries, guys. We've got less worries at all. And once the durians are gone, then we can set fire. Because I love fire. We can set fire to all the fallen um, palms that we stack up on the side. <sighs> so hot. I had to get the tent out, that shade tent I bought for the um, for the coconut harvester man. I brought that out here this morning. But all this will have to get burnt off once they all get taken out. Well, there you go, guys. Not a bad morning's work. We'll go on to section number two, and that's doing the new blocks. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share and comment. We like the comments. They help everything going, all the algorithms. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.